In part one of this tutorial we looked at how to create our grey shading map and in part two we're going to look at how to split this into its component sections and then save it and use it for your Second Life clothing. So the first thing we need to do is to go over to our layers palette where we've created these two grey layers. Now at the moment they are the only two layers I have visible. Um, untick the eyes in any other layers you have visible. You only want these two. Right click on the top one and select Merge Visible Layers towards the bottom and then just click Merge. Then we want to split our image into its um, associate grid template sizes. So we'll start with the head and we click into Image, Canvas Size and under canvas size you'll see a width and a height uh, reading 1024 across and 3072 pixels down and then chain on the right hand side. Click that chain to break it and that allows you to change these values independently. I'm only going to change the height from 3072 to 1024 and then resize that. And you'll see it just isolates the head section there and so we're going to save it. So we go File save as and I'm going to change it to fake big head make sure it's saving to my desktop which is where I want it and click on file extension types at the bottom and I'm going to scroll down until I reach PNG that's what I'm going to save it as PNG image and save at this point a box pops up called export file that tells you that the plugin can't handle layers. That's fine. The default ticked is merge visible layers. Just go with that and click export and then save. And your head section has now saved to your desktop or wherever you've put it. Then you go edit undo resize image. So you take a step backwards to where you were and this time we're going to isolate the midsection. So again we go image, canvas size and again these values are there so we break the chain again change it to 1024 on the height but this time we're going to use the offset to lower the window that it's looking at so we go to the Y section under offset and type in minus 1024 and then resize and now your middle section is highlighted. So again we save it. File, save as, fake bake, let's just change that to body. Again I'm going to select the file type at the bottom here and save as a PNG and save it. Leave it with merge visible layers, export and then save. Once again we go to edit, undo resize image to take us back to our original full body and this time we want the legs so we're going to go image, canvas size, break the chain again, change it to 1024 and this time on the Y offset we're going to change that to minus 2048 and resize and this time your leg section is highlighted and once again we save, so file, save as um, I'm going to change that to fake bake legs select the file type PNG export and save and there we are, you've done it. And you can, if you choose, take an edit, step back there, undo resize image, and then save as a PSD so that you can mess around with it in the future. So you go save file type and save as a Photoshop image. There we go, save. So now I have all of the work I've done intact and saved into various sections and I can close that. So File, Close. 
Now we're ready to move on to actually making the clothing look fabulous. So we start by opening a piece of work we've already created. So I'm going to open in this case and I'm going to open as layers a little tank top I made earlier. The first thing you should do with this image is to make sure that it's the same size as the images that we've just saved. So go to image and canvas size and just check that it says 1024 in the width and height under canvas size. If it doesn't, change those values. Break the chain if you need to and change those values so that it does. And then just resize. I don't need to, so I'm just going to cancel. So there we go. There's my tank top, but it looks a bit flat, doesn't it? No body definition to it. I have all of the layers on the right hand side from the grid templates and from all the work I've done. And I'm going to go just above my last visible layer, which is what you see before you. I've merged it all down. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to then open as a layer, open as layers, my, which I've completely lost my fake bait body. There we go. And save that. And it's overlaid above that last layer I showed you. The problem is we can't see the layer below it. This is where we use our blending options again. So in the layers palette above opacity, our mode is normal, change that. And you can mess around with this as much as you like, but I found the one that I like best is multiply. And look at that. The magic just happens. And you can mess around with the opacity of this so that you can make the shading less or more defined to suit your tastes or whatever clothing you're making. Then all you need to do is to get rid of the rubbish around the edge that we don't need. So we go to our fuzzy select tool in your toolbox, click on that, go down to the original clothing layer, in my case it's just called layer 4 and that has the shirt on, and click anywhere apart from on the clothing and that highlights everything else around it. Go back to your fake bake layer, then go edit, cut, and it will cut any extraneous shading from around your body shape and then you can use your fuzzy tool again to unclick on the right layer hopefully. There we go and there it is. There's your beautifully shaded top with very very little effort. I hope this tutorial helped and you should really visit the Mistress of Design blogspot. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.